There's a steakhouse right there. Should definitely be illegal, that place. Should we go out the front of Murder King or should we go out the front of the steakhouse? I think it's quite fitting that we go to the steakhouse then. I do want to ram that down their throats, force my opinions. We got Land of Hope and Glory on the screen. We got some uh, environment facts. We got a lot of people around us. You can read the table here. I think eating meat should be illegal. I want someone to try and change my mind. Let's see if the public want to have a little chat about this. So the sign over there, 18 quid for a piece of an animal that got hacked up. Come have a chat. <laughs> Come talk about it. <laughs> for YouTube, do you want to have a chat? I'm actually vegan, so. Oh, you're vegan? I still think it's a bit much. Like... Oh, really, why? Tell me why. People shouldn't murder e other humans because it's the right thing to do either, but we've got laws though. You know, it is the right thing to do not to murder each other, but there's laws as well. <laughs> That's a double standard for humans and animals that we have. That's a vegan. It's a bit much? No, it's not. It's absolutely justified. I like hey mate? Hello. You like chicken? Yeah. So you're, you're saying you're trying to change my mind? Yeah. You don't think eating chicken should be illegal? No. I think okay. It's fine. You think it's fine? Come and have a seat, mate. What's your name? Uh, Kai. Kai, I'm Joey. Oh, this is being filmed for YouTube, you cool with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. So it says that eating meat should be illegal. <laughs> it's a pretty simple statement. What is that? Uh, 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 first off, I just want you to tell me why you think it shouldn't be. Uh, because uh, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, honestly, I'm man, like, if you want to eat meat, it's fine. If you don't want to eat meat, you know, it's fine. No, it should be, like, it shouldn't be like legal or illegal, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's a choice, a matter, you know. Okay. So you're saying that it shouldn't be illegal because it's just a choice. It's just an arbitrary choice. There's no victims involved. Um, well, I mean, the animals, you know, I mean, like the, I mean, like the meat industry, I know it's, it's you know, fucked up. But I mean, humans are like omnivores and we need meat, you know, for our diets. And... Do you want to, should we fix, stay on that point? Because you're going to have, you got a few more points, yeah? Should we just go point for point? Are you happy for that? Yeah. So you're saying that we're biological omnivores? Yeah. So that we, we cannot survive without eating meat? I mean, we need meat, uh, we need like meat, uh, we, well, we need like meat uh, and vegetables like to survive, you know? Uh, we, we, you cannot survive without, uh, you cannot survive without eating meat. That's your claim? I mean, meat has like, certain, like, like uh, products and uh, biological, you know, like uh, vitamins and nutrients. Are you saying? Yeah. Okay. So, what are those vitamins and nutrients that you that are essential and only found in meat? I mean, I'm not a scientist, so. Well, you're making a very strong claim that we cannot survive without eating meat. So, I'm just wondering if you got any evidence to back that up. I mean, I just like uh, came from the sheet. I mean, so you know. I don't have like a paper, you know, with, okay. you know, all the documents, you know. Okay, well I do. There's a very big paper that was released by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Uh, it was over 100, backed by 117 studies, peer reviewed. Uh, Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is one of the largest uh, nutrition uh, group of professionals on earth, about 100,000 yeah. of them collectively. Uh, and it was a peer reviewed paper saying that vegan diets are healthy for all stages of life, including af uh, athletes, infancy, pregnant women. Uh, what do you think about that? That science? Well, uh, w uh, well, well. The thing is that there are like studies which I like claim that vegan like diet is not like good for a child or for you know a newborn. You know, it like it needs you know a bit of meat, a bit of everything. I haven't seen any of those studies uh, peer reviewed at all. I mean, it, I've seen articles, but I have never seen any peer reviewed studies. I mean, like you should uh, 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 like there like you know peer reviewed studies now. You know, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics isn't a vegan organisation. They're a group of non-vegan, probably predominantly non-vegan, uh, you know, doctors and dietetics and nutritionists. And 
So what I'm saying is they had 117 studies backing their statement. It's a very large yeah, statement. That's fine, but I mean, like, uh, I mean, there are studies, you know, claiming otherwise. So you know, it's just, you know, it's just, you know. Well, you're saying you don't know what the nutrients are. Just give me the, give me one nutrient that's found in meat you can't uh, get elsewhere. Uh, iron. Iron is like in okay. meat. It's like a lot of iron, and iron is like you know. Okay. Well, we like we need iron, and like if you're vegan, if you're like if you're like a vegan vegetarian, like you need to you know like eat like well I don't know. I mean I've never been you know a vegetarian or a vegan you know. Okay. But you know like iron is you know essential you know. Yeah. Well. I agree. So you know, you don't think iron's found in plants? That's that's. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's found in plants, but meat, like, like, has more of it. So, yeah, meat has a heme iron, doesn't it? What? Heme iron, uh, the iron that's found in blood. I'm sorry. Heme iron is the iron that's found in blood. I mean, yeah. So that'd be the the iron that's found in, uh, you know, the corpse of an animal would be the the iron from their blood. So we'd be drinking their blood to get the iron out of it. I mean. Aren't we like have blood inside, you know, our guts? Yeah. You know? So, so I mean, do you think it would be morally justified to kill a human to get the iron out of their blood? I mean, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, because you uh, have iron in you, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I understand yeah. that we have iron, but I mean, I mean, uh, now we're facing a problem with overpopulation and, like, you know, in fiction, you know, like there's been, you know, soil and green. Have you ever seen like soil and green? No, but people tell me about it. Hey, is that yeah. where they start feeding humans to humans? Yeah, yeah. Okay. People don't actually know, do they? Yeah, they don't know. But I mean, I mean, it's unethical. But I mean, it's but I mean, it's like it's a future like it's been uh, uh, like for me like killing an animal. You know, uh, I don't you know I don't like it when it's like being like killed. You know, like. Uh, like yeah. you know, it doesn't feel like morally okay. Factory, yeah. yeah, but uh, I don't mind if we like, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the future we you know, we discover how to you know replicate like meat cells you know in like in a lab and like lab grown meat you know, that is more you know better you know for the environment and you get and for our morals. We can talk about the environment. Um, I'll just s tell you what my argument actually is. Okay, yeah. I don't think I, I actually know. Yeah. I know for a fact, scientific fact, that we do not need to eat meat for any reason. Okay, there, there's no reason to eat meat. It's actually causing some of our top diseases in human beings: heart disease, cancers, type two diabetes. Um, it's actually causing the the number one cause of all of the environmental destruction we face. And it's enslaving innocent animals who have done nothing wrong. We're breeding them and then we're murdering them for a steak after we feed all of our resources to them. So that's why I think it should be against the law. I mean, I mean, it's your, I mean, it's your, uh, it's your like, uh, uh, it's your like, uh, it's, I mean, I have started. It's your that's like fine, uh, yeah. uh, opinion, but like. Uh, okay. Agriculture in general, like it uses like a lot of water and uh, and a lot uh -huh. of resources. So, like for me, mm -hmm. a better like way how to make food is you know uh, would be like you know trying like to replicate it in a lab. Yeah. You know, not like making like fields of fields of like grain, rice, or you know cows. You know, it's better like to you know invest in science and make you, you yeah. know something that you know. Uh, 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 like can be easily replicated. So why would we replicate it if you didn't? If you think that it's fine to eat? I'm sorry. Why would we replicate meat if you think meat is essential? I mean, right. You're now, saying there's an alternative to meat. Yeah. But right now, it's the only way how we can eat meat. Okay. I mean, I'm not. Li I'm like. I'm not like saying that that like you know eating like factory you know butchered meat you know it's morally justified. But I'm saying it's okay. you know it's the only way. Like uh, right now, you know. Uh, you know, uh, we are switching to and you know all like electric like you know cars and stuff. But you know, like majority you know of uh, car drivers like still like drive like diesel cars. So yeah, it's just like you know, it's just like a period where we switching you know. And humans, fr you know, from the history of time, you know, have been eating meat. I mean, yeah. if uh, we weren't uh, like. Uh, Omnivores, we wouldn't have like these, like you know, teeth, like sharp teeth. <laughs> Where are your sharp teeth? Don't point at your teeth. Yeah, they're, they're very blunt and flat, and you have molars, and you grind your jaw side to side for the chewing motion, for like uh, grazing on plant products. You have the tiniest canines I've ever seen in my life. 
Yeah, but I mean, it, I, you have no claws, you have no predatory instinct. You see a rabbit that's hurt, you don't try to chase and eat the rabbit raw. You're not a carnivore, you don't have any omnivorous instincts at all. Well, I mean... Where do you buy your meat? I'm sorry? Where do you buy your meat from? At the shop at Tesco's. Okay. Sounds very carnivorous. Yeah. Sounds like a lion. Well, you know. <laughs> But let's, uh, so this is the environmental destruction we face. This is the amount of water, 660 gallons per hamburger. Yeah. I think that's over a thousand litres. Uh, so we've got uh, the, the greenhouse gas emissions due to livestock. We've got up to 51%. You can reduce your carbon footprint by 50% by eating a plant-based yeah. diet. You said it's in, there's no other choice than to eat meat. Have you ever met a vegan? Well, you're standing here, right? How do you know I'm a vegan? Well, I'm not like Sherlock Holmes, but you're like stating that meat like should be illegal, like eating meat like should be yeah. illegal. So you know, yeah. you know, A, B, C. You know, you. Okay. You're yeah, I am a vegan, but you know, just not eating meat is not just the only part of veganism. There's all other animal products that exploit and kill animals too. But um, you said there's no other choice. So, like I've been vegan for six years. Should I? Shouldn't I be dead? If, they're, if they're, you're saying there's this essential iron found in meat that only you can get from meat and no other place, I mean you're, I mean you're a full-grown adult, so for you, like, uh, like iron is not like you know essential, you know, that really? much. I mean, it's so you're a full-grown adult. I mean, I'm 20 years old, so you know, I'm still, you know, like, Developing. yeah, 25, you know, is you know is the age when it's like a fully grown. But like for me, so after 25, you don't need iron. I mean, like, you need iron, but you don't need, like, a lot of it, like, you know, as for a toddler or for a baby. So, you, you know, okay. that need for iron, you know, slows down a bit. So, do you, do you know much about nutrition, or do, are you just making claims? I just want to know if you have any evidence to back up these uh, nutrition claims. I mean, I don't, as I said, I don't yeah. have a paper, you know, you, okay. I mean, you... So, we can't really accept your claim if it's just, it's just basically, uh, it's what's... my claim, it's my... You have no claim. evidence. You're, like, uh, making, you know... Uh, uh, you're, you, uh, I mean, you're giving me a load of like questions, so you know. I'm just asking for evidence if you can cite some resource where you found out you don't need uh, iron after 25 or uh, that you know you can only get iron from meat uh, and any of these sources will be fine. You're saying if you're an infant you can't get iron from plants. When I, I already cited the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics paper that said that uh, a well-planned vegan diet can be healthy for all stages of, of life including infancy and uh, you know all stages of life. I mean, I would need like to read it, you know, but you know, yeah. as for now, you know, I don't have, you know, papers claiming, you know, that what I'm saying is, you know, factually yeah. true. So you don't have any evidence to back up your nutrition claims? I mean, I would need to do some like research and yeah. Yeah, find course. papers, but you know, right now... Uh, so you'd find papers to oppose what I'm saying, but you wouldn't look at the paper that I've just, uh, like I've just talked about, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics paper, you wouldn't look at that? I mean, I, w uh, I would need to see like a real, uh, uh, like paper like right now, you're showing me like you know a thing without you know okay, yeah there's no sources on this yeah. you're, you're correct but if you go to the the facts page the cowspiracy facts page easy to look up all the sources are linked all yeah. the source scientific papers the un statistics all of that is linked on this page so you, yeah. it's easy to just google that and you'll come up with the facts page i mean yeah that's okay but you know i still uh, like need to read it and it's like pages of pages of pages of pages of scientific data you know and we need to sort this through so you know uh, like, uh, uh, like some groups like uh, uh, like take a scientific page and and then they like take out you know like uh, the cherry pick science are you yeah, saying cherry pick science okay you know but this so, is backed so, by 117 studies the academy yeah, of nutrition fine, that's a lot of studies yeah, it's peer-reviewed as well by non-vegans yeah, that's fine, but I still like need to look at it and it's just like, you know... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, of course, I, I agree. You need, to, you need to do your own research before yeah. you believe... You do, you're not just going to believe but some guy on the street. Like, yeah, but I mean, like for me, you know, it's like, it's a choice, you know. I it is a choice. I so is murdering humans, yeah? Yeah, of course it's a choice. So is kicking a dog, that's also a choice? Well, yes, it's a choice, but... Uh, it's not a moral choice, would you say? Uh, right now, you are trying uh, like to get uh, an uh, emotional yeah. response from me. No, I'm just saying it's yeah. every, everything we do is a choice. It's an emotional like uh, response, like oh, you, oh, so you're like for like killing animals, like w would you like to kill a human? You know, it's an emotional. It's like, a logical extension of killing an animal, killing a no, human. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, well, it's. Uh, it, it's an argument which uh, provokes an emotional response. It should, shouldn't it? Killing? Uh, no, it shouldn't. Be, uh, you don't think killing is emotional? 
Uh, Violence shouldn't re evoke an emo emotional response. We like we shouldn't look at emotions. We should look at like, logic. Yeah, logic. Science. Yeah, science. And right now you're trying like to. Right now, like you're trying like to provoke me. So. I'm not trying to provoke you at all. Trying I'm trying to, to find holes in your logic because you haven't uh, produced any evidence for your, your nutrition claims. And I'm I asking... You, I'm not a scientist, you know, I can't... Uh, yeah, but you're I'm making nutrition scientific claims without evidence, so... And like, and you as well are making, like, claims, you know, I would like to read you... The paper is easily yeah. accessible for everyone. That's fine. And it's like, well And I will, like, read it, but, you know, you, you are here, you know, you're emotionally... Uh, uh, like Have you seen pigs get killed before? Yeah, I've seen pigs like killed before. Yeah. Do you think this should be illegal or? I mean, like, uh, it's like, I think it should be like, um, regulated? Killed more humanly, not, you know, like, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, like. She made murder? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Does that make sense to you? She made murder? Yeah, of course. I mean, like, humans have been eating meat, you know, for centuries. Thousands of years, probably mil it might be in the millions, I'm not sure, but like scavenging and trying to survive, eating yeah. what we can. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Do you think it's justified because we've been doing it for a long time? Yes, of course it's justified. So if we do anything because for a long time, then it becomes justified? It's part of nature. So mm -hmm. are you gonna uh, uh, approach a, yeah, a lion and tell him like he cannot like eat meat, you know? Well, uh, lions don't have a, a moral culpability like we do, they don't have a an ethical framework. They're in a survival situation. Yeah, they're they're doing what they need to to survive. You know, and uh, there are like you know millions of opinions. But uh, like uh, when it comes to like morals, maybe your morals are like right for you. Do you think this is right or wrong? What? Like in this is right or wrong? I mean, it's the meat industry. You know, I'm not like claiming. You know, it's morally like right. Do, right, do like you think they're suffering? Animal. Of course they're suffering. Okay, do you think that's right or wrong? For me... Uh, for, you. for you only. I think it's not like right how to kill them, you know, like okay. butcher them, like, but I'm for like humanely uh, like killing them, like no suffering, you know, you know, just let them go, you know, easily. Okay. Is that where you get your meat from, humanely slaughtered animals? I mean, it's mostly, I mean, humanely slaughtered animal meat is very expensive. What does that say? What does it look like, humane slaughter? I mean, it's usually uh, electroshock, you know, when they shock like the cow. Yeah, yeah they, I've seen it, they, they, I've seen it. Yeah. Pro, you know, you know, some like, you know, uh, halal meat, like they, you know, they yep. yeah, yeah. yeah, they slit the throat and let the blood out. So you think it's humane to electrically shock someone and stab them in the throat, drain them of the blood and chop them up into pieces for a product that we don't necessarily need? That's a loaded question. It's a very loaded question. Yeah, I know. But, but it's, 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 it's the only way I can formulate it. Because we do not need it. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm living proof. I'm standing right in front of you. I just ran an ultra marathon last week. That's fine. I should have died of iron deficiency by now. That's fine. But like the thing is that, that you know, as I said, you know, it's, you know, you know, I like I like I like to eat meat, you know. Somebody yeah. else like to eat, yeah, like maybe you like it, so that's justified then. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's justified. It's justified because yeah. you you gain pleasure from an animal being killed, or from I don't like I don't like get pleasure from it. I just liking like, is pleasure, sense. yeah. What? Like to like something is some form of pleasure you're gaining from it. No, that's another emotional like response you are trying like to get out from me. Well, not, well, what do you mean? What, what do you mean by like? I'm sorry. What do you mean by you like eating meat? I, I mean, I like the taste of it. You like the taste. So taste is a pleasure response, or it's yeah. a it's a sensory, yeah, you know. It's sensory. So it's sensory. Yeah. So sensory pleasure. I mean, like people like to smoke, you know. Yeah, but there's no animal getting knifed in the throat for a cigarette. I mean, like, I mean, yes, like, I mean, uh, like there isn't, but an animal, you know, is an animal. You know, they don't, you know, as you told, they don't have like a moral, uh, uh, like compass or like understanding of their like surroundings as we do, you know. So that means we can do what we want to them? I mean, not necessarily, you know. You think I they should be protected animals? I mean, of course, like they should be like endangered species, like should be protected, you know. But I mean, like there's like millions and millions of pigs, you know. We're not like running out of them. <laughs> why are there millions of pigs? That's okay if you haven't because looked into of this. The meat industry. Because why is there? Because they're breeding them into existence, yeah. 
I'm sorry? They're breeding them, aren't they? They're breeding them for product. Exactly. And, you know, and that's, you know, our, and that's our side, you know, that's our, you know. I think it's immoral and it should be illegal. Well, that's your... Well, to protect them. Like well, we have, do you know, we have laws protecting, you cannot murder me. Yeah. I have a law, there's laws protecting you yeah. from harming me, even if yeah. it gives you pleasure. Okay, I think that that should extend to animals as well. It extends to some animals. If I went and killed a dog, your dog, yeah. I'd go to pr pr prison for animal cruelty. Why shouldn't that extend to a pig? I mean, because a pig is, it's uh, used for meat, you know, we don't eat dog. I mean, mm -hmm. in like, in some countries uh, like China and Korea, uh, like the eat dog, and and like for me, you know, I don't like find it, you know, great. But I mean, what I do you mean? Well, let's I let's stick well, there. What I do you mean, great? To, you don't find it great. I what do you don't mean? Want to impose my morals onto them, you know? Onto who? Well, onto the people who eat dogs, you know. It's okay. their, it, like it's their, like you know morals, you know, and stuff, you know. So do you impose your moral framework onto people who? Abuse children? I'm sorry? You don't impo impose your moral framework on those who abuse children? Like, I'm, I'm trying to put your, ment like, I'm trying to apply your ethics into a different context to see if you're consistent across the board here. Do you have a double standard when it comes to child abuse or just when it comes to abusing pigs? I mean, you are now, uh, uh, like, comparing a pig and a child and those mm -hmm. are, li uh, exactly. and those are like, exactly. two different things. One is a human being who, you know, has like, you, you know, like a capability of intelligence and stuff. Wow. And the other one is... Pigs don't have capability for intelligence. I mean... I mean... Uh, I'm, You're trying to escape here, I'm, you know that, yeah? I mean, they haven't, like, invent... I mean, it's an... Uh, here. I mean, it's an uh, instinct. They haven't, like, invented, you know, rockets and stuff. And uh, like, Have you invented a rocket? I mean, no, I haven't, but, you okay. know... So I, I want to know um, why pigs aren't comparable in intelligence to a small toddler. I'm sorry? Why isn't a pig comparable to intelligence to a small uh, toddler? Because a pig will never grow to a full uh, human being who is like, capable of like, m like making something in this world. Pigs like, uh, will always be pigs. Pigs will always be pigs? Yeah. That, I'm saying why aren't they comparable in intelligence to a small toddler? You don't think they're they're comparable in intelligence? Atola is a bit smarter than you know. Atola like. Okay, so do you think? Uh, let me ask you this. I know I'm asking you a lot of questions yeah. because I'm trying to like get you to realize something. Do you think intelligence alone, if you are less intelligent, yeah. then we should take away your rights or treat you differently to someone who's more intelligent? I mean, not necessarily when it comes to humans, you know. But you know, an animal and a human is a different thing, you know. Like Why? Because, you know... Why are we different? I'm sorry? In what way are we different? Biologically, you know... Yeah, 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 in exactly. The, we look different? Yeah, we look different. Okay, just because we look different, then that justifies us doing what we want to others who look different? I'm sorry? Because we are different, yeah. we look different, uh, that's probably the only thing that, well, you know, we're a different species. Yeah. Yeah, different species. We, you might be a little bit cognitively complex than a pig. But uh, they're more cognitive. Okay, there are marginal humans, aren't there? I'm sorry. Do you know what a marginal human is? Let's just say a human that has a mental disability. Yeah, of course. So had the mental capacity of a pig. Yeah. Do you think then it's morally justified to take their rights away and kill them because they have the mental capacity of a pig? I mean, it's a human. You know, it's not a pig. Okay. So that's a, that's an arbitrary. That's an arbitrary uh, difference. They're a human. They're a pig. We can stab a pig. Pigs feel pain. They suffer. They're sentient like us. Yeah. Well, I mean. Well, they feel pain, I mean... Yeah, they avoid pain? Yeah. We have that in common, don't we? Yeah, of course. You're not going to deny that. It's yeah. uh, our instincts, you know. Like, a survival instinct. Okay. So just based on the fact that they pe feel pain, why should we inflict pain on them for something we don't need, like a burger? I mean, we need the burger. You, you need burgers? I mean, I don't, uh, uh, like, need them, you know, you know. Do you need it more than they need their life? I'm sorry? Do you need a burger more than a pig needs their life or a cow needs their life? I mean, once again, you know, it's a moral, you know. I think like eating a burger or meat, you know, it's fine, you know. You know, I understand, uh, like... You still think it's fine? I'm sorry? You still think this is fine? 
I don't think that's uh, I like fine. Uh, you just said it, like it doesn't feel great before. That's all I was. Uh, now you, before you said it doesn't feel great. Now you're saying it's fine. I mean, I don't a lot. I I don't like them like being killed. You know. Yeah, that's what. Like, that, but you said it's fine. But you know, I'm fine with them being like killed humanely for meat. But I mean. Yeah, I mean the, the reason I'm I, I I just don't know what humane killing looks like, and you said a stunning in the back of the head. Yes. I wouldn't want to be stunned in the back of the head. I wouldn't say that's humane if we did that to anyone. I mean, a humane uh, like killing would be if we you know like um, uh, put poison, you know, like you know we execute, you know, okay. criminals, you know, like with the uh, uh, like really? with poison, you know, okay. criminals They're who've done something wrong. I mean, like uh, execution of humans. Yeah. Now, I don't find it, you know morally okay. like justified, but you know, you know, in like uh, in America, like they use like poison, like to kill yeah. them, you know, they humanely do. without yeah. any pain. Like yeah. they don't feel nothing, and like okay. uh, is that moral then to take someone's if someone wants to live, right? Yeah. Do you think it's humane to poison them if they don't feel anything? If they want to live, you know, you're robbing someone of their life, aren't you? I mean, a pig. Uh, I mean, a pig's life is uh, a very simple life, while a human's is very complicated. Complex. Yeah, complicated. Not all humans. I'm sorry. Not all humans. I mean, a yeah. toddler's life isn't very complicated. They eat, they run around, they laugh. Uh, especially a three-year-old. You know, pigs have been compared scientifically to the intelligence level of a three-year-old child. Do you I know that? No, um, we need to see. I uh, we need to see like a study which says so. So mm. right now I cannot. Uh, Pigs can like, play video games. They can do many. Uh, th they can do. They've got. They rank higher in intelligence than dogs. Uh, I would need like. I would need to see like. Uh, 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 mm. Like the facts. So like for now, like no, like uh, no comment. Okay. Well, even if they didn't possess that type of intelligence, if a human being didn't possess that type of intelligence, you would still think it's wrong to kill a marginalized human because they lacked intelligence yeah yeah you do i mean i wouldn't uh, uh, like for me like killing a human in general is just immoral you know no matter if he's like a toddler if he's like you know has you know uh not physical but like a mental like disability of yeah. or it's always if immoral if it's a human of course yeah but why because uh, we have uh, a compassion for each other and and Pigs uh, don't have compassion for their children, no. I mean, like, I don't know. You know, we need to see like studies. You know, okay. if they have like because uh, like pigs like they uh, grow like the children to you know a certain age and then uh, like they l like uh, mm -hmm. let them go. Maybe. Um, I'll, I'll grant you the fact that you haven't looked into a lot of these things that I'm talking yeah. about, but I have looked into these for many this, these things for many many years. Um, I'm just trying to find out where your ethical compass is when it comes to you know dogs or human beings, and I'm trying to see if you're consistent when it comes to these animals. It seems like you have a double standard for cows, pigs, chickens, and fish um, yeah. than you do for toddlers or margin, marginal humans, marginal case humans like that with a you know low cognition. You, it's always wrong to kill a human, no matter what. Yes. Okay. No matter what, it's always okay. wrong about uh, uh, like to kill a human being. Okay. Like I'm opposed like of any uh, of any okay. killing of. Do you think that's hypocritical? I'm sorry. You're opposed to human beings being harmed and killed and enslaved and murdered, yeah. but you're not opposed to other sentient beings who share the capacity to suffer, to feel pain, who value well, their lives. Those are my morals, and yeah, like for you, it could be like you know, you know, I sound like a hypocrite. Uh, uh, like, do you, you sound like a hypocrite? Your opinion to you? For me, no. Okay. Because those are my morals and my mm -hmm. opinions. So you don't have a double standard here. Like for you, it sounds like a double standard. Like for me, you know, I mean, yes, it's. I mean, it could be like, like for you, it's a double standard. Mm -hmm. But like for me, you know, it's just the way it is. Yeah, it's just the way it is. You okay. know. So that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's your opinion. That's fine. I'm glad we had this discussion. Yeah. Have you thought about this more at this table than you've thought about this in your entire life? I'm sorry. Is this the the most you've thought about this topic before? Yeah, I mean, I okay. like I'm not like an activist, but by, like okay. when it comes to these things. So when you talk about uh, most of it, 90, up to 91 percent of animal, uh, the the Amazon destruction is from animal agriculture, growing growing soybeans to feed to livestock and you know grass-fed cattle. Yeah. One to two acres of rainforest cleared every second. 
if you don't give a shit about these other animals, right, or you don't care about them enough to not stop eating their bodies, do you care about the planet enough that you live on? Yeah, of course I care. Okay. I, I, about the planet. Okay. I don't like uh, want it like to be a wasteland of yeah, yeah. you know death and disease and destruction. No, I want our planet like to have you know forests, you know yeah. mountains, range. You know, it's fine. A not place for the generations to live on after yeah, of us. Of course, of course. So, do you think it should be illegal to destroy our Earth for a burger? I mean. I mean, as I told you, you know, right now, you know, it's the only way how we can get like meat, you know. But you know, if we like in the future, like make, you know, like, like. I just asked you a question. I'm sorry. I asked you a question. Do you think it's justified to destroy our earth for a burger? It's justified to feed our growing population. And that's the issue. Okay. okay. Because like, if like, if we really want to stop like all of this, you know. Uh, meat industry we need to reduce our you know you know he, like he, like uh, we need to reduce human population because all these issues like our population okay. you know over these like uh, issues you know climate okay. change you yeah. know agriculture it's like because it's too much of us climate change yeah. very uh, major contributor nearly half caused by livestock this is just on this statistic alone which yeah, you can course. verify on cowspiracy because facts page our, you know, also like your claim is that uh you know when we when we have enough so let, let's just say there's 74 billion land animals on earth right yeah. now okay that we're growing to for meat yeah okay and um, all those land animals have to consume water they have yeah. to consume grain they have to consume food so we're growing more than enough food to feed this population of humans, yeah. but there's ten, like literally ten times more land animals that we're using for meat. Okay, which is a sh bad use of our resources. So I don't technically think we're overpopulated. Uh, we can, the planet can sustain us humans for our need, but yeah. they can't sustain our greed for meat. Yeah, but the thing is that you know we have a limited you know use of land, and you know most of our land you know like can't be used for agriculture. You know, it is. It's being used. Most of our land. Livestock covers 40, 45% of the Earth's land. Most of our uh, farmland is being used to grow crops to yeah. feed two animals so we can eat steak. That's fine, you know. They, they eat lots more food than you do, yeah? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So it's a bad use of our resources to funnel all of these, all this water and land and... I'm sorry, but I need to go. Okay. We have uni. Yeah, I you mean, have I'm uni. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I mean, at okay. one, we, we, like, we have a class. Okay. Who's we? You and your friends? Yeah, we're okay. uni. What, what was your name again, brother? Kai. Kai, nice talking to you. Yeah. I appreciate it, the chat, hey? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, no, that's alright. We left at the perfect time. Yeah. Resources. Resource. Check it up. Thanks, brother. I agree wholeheartedly, my friend. Oh, really? Life on vegetarian. Oh, really? You should go vegan. <laughs> <laughs> you see people's faces, like... I just see the, the triggers in their mind, like, on, on their face, because it's like... I don't know, it's just a very intense statement for someone because they all eat it. Like, if someone said that to me when I was eating meat, it would trigger me a lot. Like, I'd be like, what do you mean? Like, are you trying to force your, you know, way of life on me or something? Like, are you trying to take my right to eat meat away from me? It's like, no, I'm trying to give animals rights. <laughs> Everyone forgets the victim. They just think meat is not an animal. That was a pretty good chat. Um... It was pretty frustrating though. Like he wouldn't follow the logic very well, like I didn't feel. No. Like what I thought was actually quite crazy is he kept separating meat and animals. Like in his mind, like I was watching him separate meat and animals, like all throughout the conversation. Like he wasn't connecting the two. It was really bizarre, like how human beings have separated, which is you know, understandable, it's always separate from the animal, like when they buy it, like it never looks like the animal. It's always completely processed or, you know, hacked up. He had no emotional reaction to the slaughterhouse footage at all.